all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you guys here today in this video we're gonna do a little bit of auto park and uh we're gonna start by trying to test out some spots like let's see what happens when we try to pull up into like for example here in between two cars so notice the p pops up go ahead and click it so yeah just bring the vehicle to a stop it says and hit start all right so just like that we're gonna see the car do a parallel park this is vision only no sensors here so let's see we're gonna judge is this something how i would have parked it you know it's already making some pretty sporadic moves with the steering wheel but and it's getting pretty close to the car behind us but if it does this in one swipe i'd be pretty impressed and honestly it looks like it's about to do it what do you think that was epic that was epic man look at that for people that have trouble doing parallel parking that, that though wasn't as smooth as you and i would have done it sure but it's in on one take and how many times have you seen people go in and out like five or six times to can, end up parking let's hit another can, one can we try that again on, on yeah. one of these other spots yeah here? all right because that was amazing we're gonna go ahead and try to dive into this a little bit more to show you when exactly it pops up here and then really just how it handles itself man i'm impressed with that honestly that was amazing um the car reverse parks for you now it parallel parks for you all right so we're gonna see what you got to do basically it looks like kind of pass it not even pass it so what happens if you stop here will it move up a little bit for you so let's just hit start let's see what it does it starts by moving up first awesome notice how it draws the line here exactly tells you the trajectory it's gonna make and notice this is the high fidelity park assist so you're really seeing everything going on to the max all right let's see here it's it's oh. see i probably would have done this a little bit different but if it can do this in one swipe without no it's not going to touch the curb i can see here you got a lot of clearance mm -hmm. nice it looks like it's going to do it and wow just like that 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 is pretty amazing yeah that was good it again it's not as human like as you and i would park but it it based on vision only it's looking at the space it angles it in and it makes adjustments as it goes but it didn't have to go back out and repark now we won't name any names right but how many people do you know that can't do that oh thousands <laughs> do you know what i'm saying hey let's see if this can go right here from the park position right <laughs> if we try to enable fsd how come it won't go Oh, you got to let go of the brake. That's why. There we go. Now it'll go. All right. Let's see if it has enough space to pull out here. I wonder why. Maybe give it a little nudge. Nah, I would try to pull out of this space here. So. Yeah. All right. So we're going to attempt also a reverse park here in this video. Once we get back to our parking lot here in just a second. And hopefully we can let FSD actually drive us there all right here we go now it's figured its way out so it's always best to use your judgment like he was pulling out before you know he knew that there wasn't enough space so sometimes don't put all your faith in fsd and just use logic and uh you know you combined with the autopilot capabilities you should be able to park anywhere now at this point and drive anywhere at this point because I know so many people that avoid parallel parking just because they can't do it. Right. I know someone personally, they're going to know who I'm talking about when they hear this video, that asked me to drop them off places because <laughs> right. they can't parallel park. So, well, now that, and, that was our first <laughs> test. So now we know that it does it. It, it picks up the spot, it does yeah. the angle. It th That one was good because we weren't far enough forward. It pulled forward. Right. And then it angled back in. The first time I had already pulled forward enough. Now, what I'm interested in seeing is once we pull up to this spot like you have to disengage for the parking spots to show up right it doesn't just automatically go into the I parking believe spot so, so let, let's see how that works so like the moment you disengage we can see how all the spots pull up 
how you select what spot and if you have trouble with with reverse parking make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel because i will show you how having a tesla can really do that for you so let's go ahead and, and take over all right so as soon as the car looks like it as, as it gets like around three miles per hour you can then select whatever spot you want so yeah that's it and why is it show oh it is showing gary out there mm -hmm. i was wondering how is it picking someone up but yeah, look at that. You you pick the spot you want. And these are faded lines also. The the lines aren't like bold white lines and somehow Auto Park Vision is able to pick up these lines perfectly and it's it's probably within like 5 seconds, 10 seconds of how long it would take, take you yeah. to park. Right. Right? So if you're willing to wait But if a few, there's cars on either side and you're a little skeptical you probably it, would just pull in yourself you know <laughs> yeah, yeah i would it's too. wide open it you're in the walmart parking lot and a bunch yeah. of cars are coming at you yeah. would you use this it some depends. people should some people should like if you have that issue with reverse parking and parallel parking go ahead and use it because that way you know you're going to get a perfect parking spot and in between yeah, the lines i'm so. impressed with it it, does, yeah, it does a good job if you have issues parking hit that like button and make sure to check out my, my referral link in the description below and if you end up getting a tesla you get three months of full self-driving with it hope you have a great rest of your day thanks again for watching